upgrades without cutting quality of cover. I saved the packet. Extremely good value, I'd say. Premium search, problem solved, phone soon. Call 0800 109876. We're here 24 hours a day, every day. And the Slade played his last tournament singles match after 14 years in the game. In his final match before retiring, he was beaten in the first round of the Stockholm Open. The last appearance in Sweden, where it all began, against a Swede, Nicholas Kulti, and thousands of Swedes turned out to see a tennis legend who followed in the footsteps of Bjorn Borg. The singles career, though, ended in defeat in straight sets, and the final handshake was followed by a national send-off for an international star. Tears, flowers, and great memories. Edberg was given a standing ovation by the Stockholm crowd, the end of a great career spanning 14 years. He won more than $20 million in prize money, including six Grand Slam titles, two at Wimbledon, two at the US Open, and two at the Australian Open, including this one in 1985. Three times as well, he helped Sweden to victory in the Davis Cup, and he wants to make that four later this month. He still hopes the Swedes will wheel him out again for the Davis Cup final at the end of the month against France. For now, though, he's been packed off to retirement by rocking chair to his home in London, where he's lived for the past 12 years. Chris Scudder, Sky News. That's it so, so far. Uh, more to come a little later on. Don't forget Sports Lion. To I really wanted to finish my career in Sweden because that's where it's all started. And, and playing in Stockholm is going to bring back a lot of memories because uh, as a young kid, I just came up there, watch, watch the guys practicing the week before, playing qualifying as 14, 15 years of age. And uh, you know, I play there every year since 1982, I think. It all comes to an end at the Davis Cup final. It's been a fairly emotional year, but uh... It's going to be quite emotional, isn't it? I think it will be. I really haven't thought about it that much, but uh, it could be a great end to my career if we are to win it. Uh, it's still going to be a good end even if we lose the match, but, uh, um, you know, I just have to approach it in, in a professional way and, and keep doing the things that I've done for so many years. Well, Stefan, you will always be remembered by me and hopefully by thousands and thousands of people throughout the world that you are a total man, and I thank you for being so gracious in what you've given to the game, because I've learned from you. I only wish I could put some of you into some of my students. Thank you, Stefan. Anytime you can get compared to, to Stefan, whether it be as, uh, the way he is as a person or the way he is as a player, it, it's a compliment. And uh, he, he's set a great example for all of us, and um, I was fortunate to witness his career both from television when I was uh, a junior player and a college player and uh, as, a, as a peer. For me it counts much more the man than the tennis player and uh, I cannot see uh, too many personalities as pure and uh, generous like Stefan Edberg. Michael saying it's not possible to copy someone like Stefan. What he did in tennis and the way he played is outstanding. We'll remember him as one of the top players in the world.
And now most of the, the players, um, unfortunately, look a little bit more like me, which is they just slap the ball silly and um, aren't quite as elegant as Stefan is in doing it. And I think that's really um, his elegance and his class are something that I think we're, um, we're, we're going to miss. But I've said it before, if they remember it as a champion, as a, as a sportsman, as a gentleman on the court, uh, that's quite okay with me. 41 titles, six grand slams, but so much more. Indeed, in tennis, we wonder whether we'll see his like again. A man who competed at the very highest level with so much success, and more important, with so much dignity and grace. Stefan, it's been a pleasure.